Hey guys, this is James, AAA Farms. Welcome back. Today we're going to be working on the chicken coop. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a little tour of the coop before we get started and I'll explain what we're going to do today. This is our chicken coop we built. It's big enough to handle 50 laying hens. It's a 20 foot by 20 foot run. That's a 20 foot by 10 foot coop. We wanted to make it tall enough so I could walk in there and actually work on things so we it's pretty tall i'm six foot five so it gives you any idea it's probably about seven footish tall on the outside here we got chicken wire on this top run right here and we got chicken wire on the bottom run we got some dog kennel wire as well and then underneath this clay dirt here we have two foot of chicken wire on top there's also chicken wire on the top up here we also have these lights right here that we got from Walmart. They say when it gets dark, they turn on. And when people, when something walks up close to it, it gets brighter. They kind of get that motion sense. Sorry for the dogs in the background. So we have four by four posts in each corner that are probably about three feet deep. The coop itself. Like I said, it's 10 foot by 20 foot, plywood walls, two by four in frame structure. <coughs> and we got a dirt floor, which we'll get in there and see that sooner. Kind of give y'all a walk around. Those lights seem to work pretty good. We haven't had any predator issues yet. Our big predators to worry about are coyotes, dogs. Uh, eagles, hawks, owls, foxes, bobcats, cougars. And I think that's roughly it. I, I guess raccoons and armadillos as well. Get in here. We got this door here or that door over there. They both open the same way. We have these heavy duty gate latches that we got from Lowe's. Now one thing I did do, I did make this in two pieces, so if we just want to open this top part for some reason, we could. By undoing that latch, we can then close and use this gate latch to latch it close. Or, come around, drop our latch back down. Okay. Then we got our hook latch on the inside. <laughs> you see we got two by fours running along the bottom here. Kind of secure that fence is buried underground and the bottom of this fence. Two by fours and then two by fours up top. We have a 10 gallon water that we keep on the outside of the coop. And we have this big open door. Right now, we don't really have a chicken coop door. We plan on eventually getting one of those automatic doors. But with the heat, what it has been, we just like leaving this door wide open. And it is big enough to where I can walk through and not have to duck. Get on the inside. Y'all can see we have this simple 2x4s running to 4x4s on the corners. Plywood secured to the 2x4s. Two run, three runs, one, two, and then three at top. And it's the same way construction all the way around. Over here we have our brooder. We got ten chickens brooding in there now. Our door going to the outside. We have sawdust and uh, horse bedding all up throughout the floor. Two waters on the inside as well. I believe those are five gallons of these. And then we have this 50, 60 pound feeder on the inside, which can hold a whole bag of feed. And then last but not least, we got this fan in here to try to keep things cooled off in here for the chickens. We also have this light. Uh, this is just a normal heat lamp type deal, but we have a normal indoor light bulb in there now that doesn't really produce any heat. Trying to keep the heat down here. When it comes to winter, we'll probably put a heat bulb back in there. Just give them a little bit more heat. 
So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be cutting a, a window in right here and right here. Idea is to cut those windows in. We're going to put chicken wire over them to you know keep the chickens in, keep the predators out. But that's going to allow that good southern breeze to blow in here that we get during the summer. Other thing we're going to try to get done, if we have enough material, is we need to wire off these top sections with chicken wire. Main concern is the chickens can now get on top of the brooder here, and I'm concerned they're going to jump through here or here. So that's pretty much the rundown of our coop, guys. If there's any more details or anything you want me to home into, feel free to ask. But let's get started on today's project. Alright guys, I went ahead and got all my tools and I went ahead and marked this one side. I still haven't done the other side, so I'll try to record that. But what I did here is I went ahead and took my pencil and marked out where I want this window to be. As y'all can see in the video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure I leave at least two inches here. Because what I think I'm going to do, not today, but in the long run, is I'll frame the outside with a 2x4. So hopefully we'll close this gap that you can see here. Give this a little bit more rigidity too. This, sorry for the chicken. Do the same thing over here, same reason, and we'll be able to close that gap, frame this in, give it a little bit more structure. Same thing at the top, same thing at the bottom. So I have two inches to go all the way around. The, the, chick, the chicken wire I'm using is this mesh wire down here. It's two foot tall, so this window would be about two feet two feet tall uh, and what what's a four foot piece of plywood minus two inches so three foot eight inches wide roughly so now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get my wire ready I'm gonna get it unraveled ready to be put on I'm gonna get my staple gun ready I'm gonna get everything ready so as soon as I cut this square out I'll be able to quickly staple the wire on so I don't have to worry about chickens jumping out that way you don't want to cut this hole it would probably be wise for me to get all the chickens out, but I don't feel like fighting with them. So I'm gonna have everything ready. So as soon as I get that whole cover cut, I can go ahead and cover it with chicken wire and I don't have to worry about chickens getting out on this one. Then I'll transition over and do the one over here. All right, guys, I got my circular saw. I'm gonna make a plunge cut. I got my jigsaw coming up to finish the corners. I got my staple gun ready to go. Got my wire ready to go. Got my clippers ready to go, which ain't as important. And I'm pretty sure that's everything I need. So I'll check this out. Alright. We'll start with a little punch cut. Then we'll work our way to the sides.
Give y'all a close look real quick. So, see if I can get in here. So we got this table. You can tell the cut ain't perfect here from transition of some sort. It's all the jigsaw. But I'm gonna get some two by fours. Not today, cause I ain't got any. Next time I go to town, I'll get some two by fours. I'm gonna frame it up just to make it look nice. That's why we are on a farm here. You gotta, you gotta keep things looking decent, you know? But uh, I'm gonna do the frame truck on the outside with the frame. Then I'll frame in that piece of plywood down there to give it some rigidity. And then I have to get some hinges. And basically what I'm gonna do is have it so I can hinge that thing open in the summer. And then I'll close it back down in the winter. But man, I can already, let me find a feather so you guys can see. See if I can get the wind to blow again. Y'all yeah, can kind of, I don't know if the camera will catch it, but it, it's moving particles through here. But yeah, there's, there's stuff flying around in here. I don't know. I don't think the camera's catching it. But it's already, when you're in front of that window, it's already a lot cooler. I think once I get the one over here done, it's going to be so much better. So, let me get everything moved over, marked up, and we'll do this uh, next. Alright guys, I got y'all set up on top of that brooder, so hopefully the chicken's going to come up there and block y'all. So what I want to show is how I did this earlier. So this piece is two inches wide here. So I'm going to move it in, get it lined up the way I want it. This is crack. And I'm just going to take my pencil. Mark down, and then just move it down a little bit. Do the same thing. That's my two inches there. And then I can just push this up against this two by four. There's my two inches here. Not quite straight there. Yes, 
same thing on the back. how I did that other side as well. So we are done with this stuff. And same thing we did over there, just lunch cuts. As y'all can tell, this is on a slight heel. And we kept these two by fours level and we made the plywood level as well. Uh, so it's actually a lot taller over there than it is over here. And so that's why y'all see my head close to the roof the last time. Should make it a little bit easier doing this pot cut. Sorry about that guys, chickens knocked the camera down. All right, all I did since y'all got knocked down, I put a staple there, staple there, kind of covered it, just so I can stop and pick you guys up. Same deal. Cutting perfect on this one's probably a little bit worse than the other one, but remember we're gonna come back on two by fours to clean it up, give it a little trim look. See that looks kind of cruddy. But once I cover it with them two by fours, or I might do one by fours, I haven't decided yet. That'll give this a little bit more strength to it. But this should definitely do what I need to do. There's a cool breeze coming through. I'm done with the electrical tool so I'm gonna turn this fan that's in here back on to give them a little bit more breeze. What I should have done is I should have came out here yesterday before I did all this with a little temp gauge so I can show what the temperature was before I made the change and then we can come back out here to see what the temperature was after we made the change just to see. But uh hindsight's 2020 right we've got these big windows now so Walk back this way towards the door. Oh man, that's a good breeze coming from the north right now. Now we got these big, big windows. You can see that little paper kind of flapping in the wind. Shows you a good little breeze coming across. Pretty good breeze. Not to get some more of this mesh wiring because I ain't got enough, but I'm thinking about putting one on that side as well, but I haven't decided. Uh, that side ain't as well protected as this side because that tin's up there. The tin only hangs over a few inches on that side. I don't remember exactly how much I did. Maybe six inches. So uh, we'll have to see. I don't know. So next part, I want to try to cover those two holes there, and that will be a good day. So let me uh, let me get everything ready for y'all. All right, I got everything ready. So this is what I'm thinking. I can, that's just, just wider than that gap. I'm 
thinking I can bring this in a little bit. Give us something kind of So I was saying, dropped y'all again. That was my fault that time. But that should be strong enough to keep the chickens in. They're not getting out of that. And then anything that's going to be small enough to come through here is not going to be able to get through that either. And then on top of that, got this pointed in. This was not by design, just happens out. But if something tries to grab that and pull it down, all that's going to be poking. Should be plenty good. So I'm going to come through, cut it off. And then move over and do something similar on that side. It's gonna be an interesting kind of reach over there. Sorry about that. Uh, baby boy woke up, came out here, seen what I was doing. So I talked to him for a little bit. Well, while I was talking to him, what I went ahead and did is I counted out these squares here. There's 10 of them, not including this top piece. 10 starting from here down. So all this is the exact same top. It should be, in theory. And so I went ahead and did that. And I went ahead and I shaped it. So I don't know if you how that well that's coming out on the camera. I went ahead out of the bin for the the 4x4 and a bin for the 2x4 and if I put it up there now it's a nice and good tight fit. So now I should be able to pop my staples in it and call it a day. Got my staples done. See if I can reach. I'm a tall man. Make sure I got it on my nose. Since I have enough, I'm going to go ahead and do this spot here, too. y'all learned a little something today. So now y'all can tell, we got our windows done. They look good. We can turn our fan on now. That's gonna give us even more breeze coming through here. It should cool off a lot in this coop for these chickens. We got this up here done so that the chickens can get up on the brooder block to jump off. 
Well, I have to, to finish the rest of these after I get a little bit more material. I'm probably making a run to the local hardware store, Lowe's or something, and go ahead and get us some more chicken wire or that mesh wire to finish off the top. And I'll also probably go ahead and get the stuff. We're going to put the uh, roosting bars here. So go ahead and get the boards and stuff to do that. And then once we have that done, the next step is to put our laying boxes down here, which I'm going to build those too. So hope y'all learned a little something today and I hope uh, it's somewhat entertaining. I'll see y'all next time.